Hello, hello, viewers. Welcome to Let's Play The Oregon Trail. So, uh, this is a game that I've actually been spending a lot of time on recently. Is either this or the worst workout of your life, so obviously you can see which one won out. So, let's just get right to it. Campaign mode. I am actually going to be doing suicide difficulty. Because... Ow. Damn it. This... Ow, oh, jeez. Oh, come on! The first screen of the game! Okay, oh my god! Kill them all, kill them all, ow! Oh. Lovely! Oh, who the hell is that hoodie wearing? Well, that's kind of nice, I guess. Well then, it looks like I've saved your bacon. I am not going to be friends with anyone who says, I just saved your bacon. Sounds like Texas, like someone from Texas. I'm not friends with Texas people. What is my name? New Gen. New Gen Gamer. ML. Oh, damn it. There's not enough spaces. Let's go with New Gen Gamer. Okay. Listen. In with two of us. We won't survive very long. Everyone I trust to die while well back. Do you know anyone we could count on in a pinch? Okay. I actually already came up with my four names before this. They're all fellow YouTubers and very good friends of mine. Enter. With these older games, you always had press enter. Like, if you couldn't tell by now, this was like, this is a parody of like, the Oregon Trail. Damn it. No, King Maximoff. I was going to tape in King Maximan X, but this is just too good to pass up. And let's just throw in Ike, because he fights for his friends. And that'll be very helpful in Zombie Apocalypse. Yes. They're very correct. There's still a good chance that they're still alive. They'll be at the shelter set up in D.C. We're in New Jersey, so I highly doubt that. Oh, okay. I am moving, apparently. That's interesting. That's always nice. Gotta keep on... Well, it's lovely. There's just a car sitting right there, right rammed into the wall. All right. I think I've got just enough fuel and food for us to make it DC in this baby. Let's hit the road. I'll drive. Cook anywhere to continue. Okay. So, as you can see, things are already going to crap. But, this this basically core gameplay right here. But, you'll see later. This and Terry. Better him than me. I don't want to be pooing liquid poop the entire trip. Clemens was bitten by a zombie. That is a new feature in this that wasn't in the Oregon Trail. You can be bitten by a zombie, and that can really screw up your run sometimes. Now, oh, damn, I clicked off recording. Okay. You're out of fuel. That sucks ass. Washington, D.C. Just as your wagon runs out of fuel, you coast into a city. You hear radio blaring in a nearby window. Repeat, all survivors who still remain in Washington, D.C., you're effed. Looks like we have a time problem. I'll go look for your friends at shelter. Meanwhile, you should go scavenging for supplies. Now, this can really make your or break your game here. Four hours? 
Okay, I was not expecting this. As you know, it's my first run on suicide mode, so I've only played up difficult before. I was not expecting this. Okay. We will need fuel, med kits, money, food. Damn it. Shoot. Okay. We're gonna have to deal with this for now. We can scavenge for rest crap later. Okay, we're gonna continue. Great, everyone's here. Just one more thing. Back there on the road. One of those things bit me. I'm already not feeling too well. I can't stand thought coming. You know what? Screw this. Shoot from that. Okay. This is honestly Sass Moment game right here. I've known him for like five minutes. In honor, I'll shoot him in the groin. Best way to die. 230 miles, Pittsburgh. Status. Crap. Okay, uh. Sure, why not? Oh, damn, I clicked no! They see me rolling. They hating. Already? Really? Okay, we're having our first boss battle already. Okay, add that. Add to that. Yeah, for being gears, they run pretty fast, yet they still can't hit us. Also, the lines are orange instead of like white or yellow. So I point that out. Okay. And, oh shoot, it's like a, the ultimate game of Tetris. You try and fit through all these little pieces. Even the car is kind of like that one Tetris block you never want to get, because it never fits anywhere. You know, the one that's like, kind of a zigzag? That's what I'm talking about. Okay. See, a pile of zombies feasting on something. Or someone. Well, tough crap for him. Um. Okay, that. At least we're right by town. If you're in Smill, know that where that could be a problem. Probably safety. Yeah. Probably is good enough. Okay, as you can see, we are not exactly in best condition right now. Okay, thankfully I don't lose health from on the road like the rest of these baboons do. So, let's try talking to a stranger. Let's not, apparently. Our car seems to be doing fine, but we can set our pace to slow, normal, or fast. Until I can, like, trade for more car parts and then keep us at slow. So we have, as you can see, we have made basically no progress, but the game goes pretty fast until you get to Dallas. From that point on, you really have to start rationing your supplies and it just completely slows down. Okay, we have upgrades. We can repair it if we got any scrap, but we don't. You can see that zombie activity is high, so... You could go scavenging for supplies realistically, but I don't want to risk it this early on in the game. We can set how much food we, I think, we should ration small, just considering how little we have. Combat training. You can learn new combat techniques here. Nope, no combat training. So... Here we have town, we can buy materials here, scraps, food, fuel. I don't have any money, but that is where jobs come in. There's gang bang bandits who have been terrorizing our little settlement. 
Get rid of them. Payment. One battery. That could be very helpful. This could also be somewhat helpful, but I have limited ammo, so I'm going to like do both of them, I guess. I might as well. Being the supply hoarder that I am. Oh, damn it, that nipped him. That totally hit him, though. If you notice that I'm not talking, I'm like really trying to concentrate here. Because these missions in particular can be somewhat stressful. Really do need focus. Okay, let's just finish off Cripple Zombie. Put him out of misery. There we go. We have four scrap. Now with that, if I really want to, I could repair a car. I'm not going to. That'd be completely worthless. Let's do this one now. As you can see, it's some kick-ass music here. Now, really, it's all about timing. See, I got one already. I know he can poke his little head out. Okay. I was a little late to a gravy train there. Ah. Okay. I damn it. Wonder where all the three bolts are going. Okay. Ah! Can't get Tommy down this one. Here we go. Once you get two, it's basically like you basically win by default. Now it's down one. Now if I can aim. Come on! Come on! Finally! One battery. There we go. So, still 9 p.m. I don't think time just magically flies by like that. Ugh. I could sell some stuff, though. I... <sighs> sure, why not? You know what? I, I do need some money eventually. I could sell one med kit. Sure. Uh, I'll just rest off like Ike's broken ribs since resting solves all your problems in this, apparently. So, I am going to. Why can't I buy $16? Fuel. Do I, am I buying. Yeah. It's really. You know what? Why not? It's I had exactly 16. It's practically calling. So, I'm going to rest. But that's going to be boring. And stuff. What? As you can see, I'm just, like, basically running out of things to say. So, that's a good time to end the episode. I've been New Gen Gaming. This has been Oregon Trail, and hopefully you'll stick with me with the next part. I'll see you later.